Okay, I'll come back in a bit, just a minute. Ah, this is uh, weird. Huh. Okay, we need to uh, record right here. Uh, Ling, see who can you record the call right now? Yes, <laughs> the call's being recorded. Okay, because uh, my program on my end somehow have some weird issue today. It cannot capture the... Uh, <laughs> Can I capture the video? Oh, weird. Ah, <clears throat> must be uh, related to the topic. The topic is too secretive. Anyway, <clears throat> let's begin. Hi, everyone. This is your... Sifu and Sisi Kong. <laughs> Welcome everyone to our weekly school session. And of course, uh, welcome everyone from the Teenage Dragons YouTube channel. This is your Sifu right here. And of course, visit TeenageDragons.com if you want to know more about us. And this is uh, going to be posted on YouTube so uh, everyone can see it. And of course, you can rewatch it as well, even if you're here. So, yeah, we got a fun topic here. So, um, we will be talking about these things later on. So, <laughs> come back here. <laughs> so, we'll be talking about those later on. Um, now, we'll get on with some question first, and let's go. So, da -da, question, question. Okay, <clears throat> first question says... Um, how should we behave with political issues? Can we use magic on it? Uh, I'm not sure what kind of political issue and why do you need to use magic? So that is a very hard to understand question. Like political issue, like what? And what kind of magic? What do you want to do? Let's say, okay, election, okay? Will you be using magic on it? Well, it depends on you. It's not depend on me. Okay, magic is like a tool. You can use it uh, on anything. <clears throat> so imagine other religion. Okay, let's, let's imagine other religion. So uh, what about like, uh, let's say, you know, there's a bunch of Christian, a bunch of Muslim. Okay, something like that. Other kinds of religion. <clears throat> they all do <clears throat> some kind of thing when things happen in the world, you know, like, oh, someone being elected and that is not the one that he wants. And you see people group up and do prayers and things and curse the heck out of them. Well, it's just the same to football game and basketball game. You know, it is natural, right? You look at the, the people playing and the team that you like is losing. Well, you curse the other team out and you're like, boo! <laughs> you know, everyone does that kind of thing, right? It's natural, naturally done. You don't like it, you curse it. You like it, you boost it, right? So you have your Samlo magic. You can use it this way if you want. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really, um, <clears throat> like, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. Uh, will I do it? Well, personally, I'm not a very political person. So, like, I know those things are important, but... Uh, I'm not the type that I like to be involved in those things. Uh, so not my style. But if you want to do it, you know, it's not against the lineage rule. Uh, you can do that and you can do magic on it. You know? But um, I, I want to warn you one thing. <clears throat> okay. Doing magic is like, it's easy. But the thing is, when you lose, uh, you will eat the, the backfire. Okay. Meaning that, Okay, there's like two parties, okay? 
uh, in political party, like two party, okay, A and B. You want A to win, okay? So you do magic for boosting A, and then uh, you curse B out, okay? So later on at the end, okay, the election, whatever thing just happened, and your team lose the battle. So what happened is, okay, the other side, there are people, religious people, uh, like, I mean, normal people who are religious are also doing the same thing. So eventually their power is going to ram over yours and plus people who are also supporting your side. And so you will face some bad luck as well because it's just kaboom over, okay? So everyone on your side gets a bit of that. If you don't want that, then, uh, well, I mean, like, <laughs> just like we say, if you don't want pain, then don't join the game, okay? Like, you join the game, there will be pain. Now, how bad it is? Well, it depends. You know, there's so many people, right? So it's like many people eating um, <clears throat> the impact from the other side coming back. So it's not, like, that bad compared to you're being targeted by, like, one or two two people, uh, you know, with the professional sorcery kind of thing. So it's not, like, that bad, that scary, but you will face some bad luck, okay, if you lose. Now, if you win, yeah, you will have some good luck because your you, you're, you're team win and you contribute. So um, the other side get kaboom, uh, your side will also get some good luck. Like, it's kind of like you loot the other side, okay, like that. So, you know, it sounds scary. Wow, I will be, like, kaboom by the other side, huh? But at the same time, if you win, you know, you're going to get something. <laughs> so it depends on you. Okay. For me, I, I don't like being involved in those things. But, you know, it's up to you. Anyway, next question. Uh Kamu 那有什麼作用呢? 隨時可以感應到你那些符的法力智慧入去
，即係嗰廿四道符裏面咧係可以獨立或者係誒幾條符咁配搭使用，咁啊去即係。誒、啊、誒、啊，平時有乜嘢即係特別嘅需求咧，就可以寫嗰啲符用嘅。咁啊，譬如話除邪符啊、淨身符啊呢啲咧，其實係即係有啲符可以沖涼啊、食嚟驅邪啊，呢啲係平時都可以用嘅符嚟嘅，就唔係淨係廿四條一齊食。咁你分開寫咧，就唔係行同一個零就，所以個抌印咧就有啲唔同啦。咁啊，跟住你誒、呃、用符嘅方法有啲唔同啦，咁樣樣。咁啊，呢啲阿拉就教啦，基本上就係咁啦。OK， 講住咁多先啦。Next question。Okay, next question says, I was wondering what does the writing on the senpai mean? Okay, well, the name of the god, very simple. <laughs> senpai is the signage. Okay, a signage of god, like basically just、uh, like、uh, the main god of the lineage. Okay, that's what it is on the senpai, and、uh, it's basically a signage. So it really doesn't matter what it means. It can be a picture. It can be a bunch of symbols. Okay, basically what it means is it's a signage for the gods to know that this is one of our place. You know that we can、uh, that 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 is like you know part of the lineage. So basically that's what makes your altar a proper altar because you got the proper signage,、uh, just like that. Okay, next question. How come that? 天泽嘅问题喺神功斗法嘅时候咧，会唔会违反天规咧？会唔会有咩处罚噶？诶、uh, ，我谂你你嘅你你对斗法啊，呢咩天规呢啲我唔知喺边度嚟噶啦啊！但系咧，第一样嘢就系、是、诶、呃、有少少戏剧化，咁咧就唔系咁样样嘅。OK， 诶、呃，所谓咩天规规矩呢啲系人定噶嘛啊？你个。誒天庭嘅規矩係乜嘢咧？就係、是、教規咯，啊！咁你點解要鬥法啊？咁你冇理由無啦啦試法行咁樣走去搞人哋噶，咁一定係人哋有嘢搞你咁樣，你咪你咪打人噶嘛？咁<笑>你還拖都有罪，唔係嘛？係<笑>嘛？你個神體都你，喂你俾人喐喎，你唔還拖，咁啊還拖梗係冇罪啦，係咪？你持劍為道梗係冇罪啦，啊！你保衞自己個派，保衞你自己。啊，即係你諗下，喂，你三羅弟子啊，三三三羅神功，咁你冇理由人哋唔知乜乜乜嘢第二派咁樣打你，跟住你又還手嘅力量都冇，跟住就俾人打到入廠咁樣樣，喂，咁你唔係嘛？咁樣樣啊，你個你個神望到你都真係覺得嚇，點解咁嘅？啊，咁、啊、你你一定要還拖㗎，係咪？咁啊，還拖就鬥法㗎啦。咁啊，人哋搞你，你又唔你又唔去還擊嘅話，咁啊～丟曬個神嘅假啦，啊，咁啊，梗係冇冇問題啦。誒喺工作上啊、生意上啊，或者就算你翻學都好啦，都會有人落你邪法啊，或者係即係佢有意無意都好，或者係正規嘅唔正規嘅啊，都有邪法嘅嘅存在噶嘛。啊，即係譬如話你做緊乜嘢，嗰啲人背後口頭上詛咒你，喂，嗰啲都係邪法嚟㗎。啊，唔係好強，但係佢都係邪法嚟嘅，咁你都要搞掂佢嘅。咁你去搞掂佢嘅時候就鬥緊法啦。啊，你鬥緊嚇係人哋贏定係你贏啊嘛？人哋贏嘅，咁人哋取走你嗰樣嘢咪靈驗咯。啊，你贏嘅話咪咪唔靈驗咪彈翻落佢度咯。咁你都係同人鬥啊，係咪？你同人鬥緊法嘅咯喎，已經。咁你咁樣樣清走啲唔好嘅嘢鬥法。又又會又會犯規啊？唔係啩？梗唔會啦，係咪？冇呢嘢噶。咁咧鬥法咧，最最緊要明白一樣嘢就係心存正念，持劍為道啊！你持劍為道，保衞你自己個派，保衞你自己嘅，咁你就唔會衰得去邊噶啦。因為你個道理係存在噶嘛，有道理做嘅，咁啊唔會有事啦。啊，咁啊當然啦，誒、呃、派內即係如果你話鬥法嘅話，你哋即係神龍教弟子咧。啊，即係唔會係自己鬥法嘅，咁啊你有嘢咧一定要即係講出嚟，咁啊即係一班人咁去做噶嘛，咁啊所以你唔會即係一個人咁樣話同人哋鬥法，啊咁啊即係自己攞嚟死啊，係咪？咁啊梗係要要成 team 人幫你啦，背後保住你啦，咁啊同埋你啲師傅啊、師叔啊嗰啲喺喺上面咧就即係睇住嘅，咁啊唔會有事啊，啊就係咁啦。OK， 誒、uh, one more question。Okay, this one is a bit longer. It says, "Could you please explain the differences below in detail? Senpai statue like Sanqing, 
ground altar. How in this lineage will how will the lineage protect altars from being hijacked by other evil entities? Okay. Uh, okay. First thing is to protect the sun pie or protect the statue, protect the altar. It's very simple. You have altar food. <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of food right there taped on the edge of the table, right? You can see that. Those are the protection. So you have these food right there to protect you. And those food are usually for like for, for you guys down below. Um, in the Samlo stage, Tina stage, or the Sanlong stage, usually the uppers, like your Sifu, will write those food and ship it to you. Okay? Usually we do that. And so that you always have a strong power guarding your altar. So you don't have to worry about that. Right? Uh, you always have to understand in the lineage, you don't do things by yourself. So if you are going to like get an altar uh, set up, it's always done with us. Right? We are going to guide you through how to do it. We're going to help you uh, while you're doing it and check everything. And then every day you post a picture online and such to make sure like, uh, you get the support. And also we can check if anything's wrong. So if we spot something wrong or anyone spot something wrong, they will see it online and uh, we'll fix it right away. So there's no way that your altar will be hijacked if uh, it's open in our lineage. Um, not really sure how to answer you. the other question because you say well, what's the difference between the sun pie statue and whatever? Well, the the the, the, the sun pie is a signage. Okay, a signage like you know, imagine you're you got a business business have a signage, right? So it's like uh, McDonald's. You got a McDonald's signage up there, right? That's what it is. Uh, the statue is a body for the god. So if you have a statue, it's like you have a god right there uh, on your local altar. Okay. So imagine you got a signage and then you have someone, like a person, someone sitting in, in your shop uh, helping you to do things. Still have a statue? Well, there's signage, but no one's under it there. Okay, just like that. Uh, the ground altar, the uh, landlord, that is your local uh, god and like your local deity. And also it helps you protect the altar and help you uh, do things locally. Okay, so that's what it is. Anyway, so time's up. We'll move on to the next. And here we go. We're going to talk about some foods right here. Uh, not sure if we'll run out of time, but this is the new, uh, new, not new, but it basically newly uh, posted. Okay, this is newly posted um, on online, and uh, you guys can see the food book, right? So this food book will be like these food will be in an other book released for the public uh, very soon. So that public one, um, you will see it maybe like in a week or two or something like that. But these food are all there. Now, the thing is that book is for the public. OK, like really public. This one here, this copy is for the internal and it has more details right here. Okay, so it talks about what full paper, uh, what what color brush and ink, and what kind of stamp and so on. So if you're learning the full work uh, in the lineage, you will understand and you will learn about it. Now these full, I'm going to go over them and let you know uh, what they do, how they are going to be used, and go through like an introduction of these. So the first one is Guang Ming Fu right here, uh, right here. Okay. This one. So this one is, um, you know, say like the full of light. <laughs> okay. So this full, okay, supposed to be done on green full paper and using black ink and uh, Mankook stamp. So anyway, if you don't understand, it's fine because Mankook stamp and these kind of term you'll learn in the line. So anyway, so here you go. The first one is the, uh, this full is like you burn this full into full water. So basically, you know, paper burned into a bowl, add water, you know, like that. And then you can sprinkle around the house. And while you sprinkle around the house, you can imagine anywhere that got your full, uh, full water splash like that, okay, that part, it get brighter and like light shines on it, it get brighter, okay? Well, when you go into a house, that is brighten up. 
it's like you have a lot of light there. You will have better vision. You will see things better. You will have more hope. You will have more like vision of the future and things like that. So let's say if um, a place is like kind of uh, gloomy, hopeless, and sad and depressing, you know, this fool is there. You know, when you sprinkle around, uh, it helps you to neutralize that crap and make make the uh, place positive feeling again. And also, if you have like um, like evil crap around and like a haunted house, well, after dealing with the e crap and kicking out the whatever thing, uh, you use this for water. It's going to make everywhere brighten up and not suitable for the e crap to stay. So it's like imagine the uh, e crap. They have like they like a certain kind of environment, you know, like. Like fish, you know, the fish. Some fish like salty water. Some fish like fresh water, like that, right? So e crap like that kind of negative energy environment. Now, when you sprinkle this thing all over, it will uh, be pretty bad for them, and they they won't be um, uh, they won't be enjoying the place. Okay. Now, um, secondly, this food can also be taped. When you taped it, the food is like a light bulb right here, shining. At the uh, direction, so it also works like that. You can tape it. You can uh, sprinkle. Okay. Now the second food right here is a uh, tea pick food right here. Tea pick, iron wall. Okay. This one is a defensive food. Um, green paper, black ink, and uh, man cook stamp as well. This one, you can tape it on things like. Tape it on the door, or tape it on the wall, or tape it on the window. You know,、uh, it can tape, or you can burn it into full water, and you can sprinkle on like the outside wall, or, like ex exterior wall of your house, or、um, you can.、Uh, let's say you have a a big like a screen or something,、right? not not the computer screen, but like the screen that blocks things.、Uh, you can use that kind of. Screen and you can tape it or you can sprinkle water on it to get that power into that and that screen become like a, a strong defense against e crap and、um, yeah so it also defend against the、uh, magic attacks and you can also burn this food into a、uh, jacket and wear it or you can burn the cap or some kind of outfit and it turn that thing into like. An armor, you know, so it blocks uh, uh, evil magic. It blocks like e crab, and it,、uh, it helps you secure whatever is inside. Okay, there we go. Three and four, right over here. Okay, that's the zhou、uh, zhou shan food. Zhou shan is the kitchen god. You tape this food up. Okay, red food, black ink,、uh, sam san stamp, and、um, tape. So this one, you tape it up, and the kitchen god is very important because you see,、um, you cook every day and you eat in the kitchen, and food goes in there. Well, what if you know your food、uh, is being cursed, or what if your food have issue, like they're bad or whatever, and you don't realize it and you eat it, right? The kitchen god helps you to realize these things or to prevent. Uh, accident from happening, like oh, I forgot to like turn off my stove or whatever things like that. And also, sometimes let me tell you, we have seen、um, examples, like not not examples, sorry, we have seen situation、uh, where people got attacked by evil magic,、uh, like sorcerer, and they send spirits over, and the spirit take over the kitchen area, and they poison your、uh, water source. Like if you have a water container where you Like a water dispenser, they will poison that. And when you drink it, you got stomach ache. And what the heck is happening? Well, we found out that that thing was、uh, contaminated by the e crap. So, yeah, this kind of food will make sure you have a kitchen god there to look over and make sure that doesn't happen. And yeah, so that time we fix the e crap, and the water is okay again. Like you drink it, and there's no stomach ache again. So scary, right? Yeah, sometimes it can be scary, and you know, like people 
always like, like right here, you know, in my, in my uh, uh, place right here. We had a few cases where people just forgot to turn off their stove and then they got a fire and then, you know, it rings the alarm. So <laughs> it's pretty scary, you know, if you are careless like that. So uh, imagine you go to work and you forgot to turn off the stove and you're boiling something, right? Now the kitchen guy, well, he cannot turn off the fire for you, but he can at least remind you that, hey, take a look, you know, like that. And if you listen to the God, you will go take a look and you prevent the accident. Okay? So very useful. Very, very useful. Now, this is the door God. This one, okay? Uh, same thing. Uh, red food, black ink, and uh, three stamp and tape. So this one, you can tape the food directly on the door or you can, like, let's say you have some kind of picture for the door God. You can burn it into the picture. It doesn't matter. Um, but it just needs a container, you know. Like sometimes people say, oh, I cannot tape this on the outside, you know. People look at it and it looks weird. Well, you can find some kind of decoration and then burn it into the decoration. Okay, that's that's fine. But this one basically is a door guard and it, it's, uh, it's like a door guardian. The, the guardian helps you um, to take care of things coming in and going out that door. So coming in like, oh, um, like burglars or bad guys or whatever coming in, right? Your door guard can influence them and like affect them to make them like change their mind. So like if, if the burglars are coming to like brick in or planning a brick in, right? The door guard can like, hey, don't come and then like that. And then the, the person will feel kind of scared that he will decide to change another target. It's very scary because sometimes, you know, people want to break in. It's just a, a snap moment where they want to say, hey, I want to go in or I'm scared. Let's pick the other house, right? So why do they pick the house beside you and not your house? It's just a feeling. So the God can help you to uh, take care of that. And sometimes, you know, like uh, if something's suspicious or whatever things outside, you know, your door God can help you to uh, be aware of that. And somehow you'll be like, Hey, I'm curious, what's going on? And then you kind of want to poke your head outside and take a look. Yeah, your thought God can help you do that. Now, if you're talking about going out, well, let's say you're going out uh, uh, to work and um, you forgot to bring something, right? Then your thought God can also help you to remind you, hey, you forgot to bring this and that, you know, like that. Or maybe you forgot your keys or you forgot whatever thing. Or maybe it's just not a good day to go out, right? Your thought God can also help you uh, to take care of that and remind you. Now, of course, the door guard won't be like, oh, I take the food there, and then the door guard will do all that stuff. You need to communicate with the door guard daily in order for the door guard to understand what's in this world, what to look out for you, and so on. Now, how to communicate with the door guard? That's another lesson. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, next one. Number five, <clears throat> here, <coughs> ga san fu, okay? You tape it there, ga san, family god, the house god. Now, this is uh, also the same thing, red paper, black ink, and sam san stamp, okay, three stamp. Now, this one, you tape it there, and it's uh, it basically a fool right there with the family god. And what does it do with family god? Well, family god take care of your house, and also... It takes care of <clears throat> your future, okay? So um, if you don't, like, if you have anything, um, uh, uh, like, things getting old, and, like, your old T-shirt, your old clothing, or uh, maybe you got some pots and pans and they're getting old and you want to change a new, new set, well, you can uh, sacrifice these old things to the garrison. Don't donate it outside. Give it to your garrison, you know, sacrifice it. And what that does is it tells your garrison that, oh, these are things I don't need anymore. And you tell the garrison what you want in the future. Like, uh, oh, you know, my future, I want uh, I want to find a job that is like this is this, you know. And your garrison will take the old stuff and recycle those energies and turn them into new things for you, uh, new opportunities and things like that. Or even like, oh, I'm throwing away my computer and I don't need this one now. Uh, and you have a wish like, oh, I wish you know, later I will have, uh, you know, this, this kind of tablet 
or whatever things, okay? And then, well, your godson can help you to get that opportunity so yeah, you can bang into a good deal or something like that and you'll find a good one, right? So your godson is uh, the god of the future. You want something later on, you know, sacrifice to the godson and then tell your godson what you want and uh, he will help you out. That's pretty cool, huh? And also what you don't want, you can also tell your godson. Oh, we're having like uh, a bunch of uh, uh, bad friends coming over all the time and they're like using me only taking advantage of me and I don't like these friends. Well, your cousin can also help. So next time those friends come to your house, your cousin's going to work on them and um, tell like your cousin can make them not feel uh, good inside your house and they want to leave and eventually they don't want to come anymore and your wish come true. <coughs> Number six, Choi San Fu, the will of God. Okay, wealth got uh, red, red paper, black ink, and uh, three stamps. It's also for taping. So basically, the wealth got here has two wealth got man mo choi san the man the mo it combined. Okay, so this for you tape there, and basically it's for you to communicate with the choi san. And what what is the wealth got deals with? It's not just money stuff. Wealth is anything that you need and is useful for you at the moment. Just like, um, well, I'm working on like a website and I need ideas. I need inspiration. Well, those are your wealth. Uh, yeah. Well, if you're old and you're like, imagine you're like the grannies and you're old and you, uh, uh, well, you your wealth could be like a good time with your grandchildren or something like that. Right, wealth can be many things, and doesn't have to be uh, money. And also, like, uh, well, I need ideas of like how to talk to the client so the client will stay, or I I need um, uh, maybe opportunities to meet this kind of people, you know, working in this field, so that I can get whatever done. Those are also wealth, okay, opportunities, and so you can talk to the choice and about it. Ah. Uh, now we have more God right here. Number seven is the Chong San. Chong San is the bed God. Okay, take care of your bedroom, your bed. So yeah, while you're sleeping, you could be very vulnerable. Like when you're sleeping, imagine uh, uh, people doing evil magic or you know, evil spirit tagging you. And when you're sleeping, you're powerless. You're like, oh, I let go of myself and I relax, you know. And you want some people to be there to guard the place, right? So, yeah, especially for kids, uh, babies, you know, you need the bad God there to keep you safe. And uh, it's pretty important, you know, heard of people having a sleeping possession when you get up and then you cannot move and things like that. Or the bad God tickets of that kind of stuff as well. Number eight is the Chi San, the toilet God. Uh, this one, uh, it's also like these two are also red paper, black ink, and a three stamp. So this one in the to they are tape it in the toilet, but this one you tape don't tape it too high. You tape it low, okay, low on the ground. And what this does is it keeps you safe in the toilet. So why? Well, because the toilet when you're inside, you always close your door, right? While you're like taking a bath, you're taking a dump, you close the door, and well, you're. Like let's say you have altars and things in your house, okay? They are not going to be seeing you inside the toilet, ha! Huh? So you want someone there to keep you safe while you're you're bathing and things like that. Now, personally, I have a story where um, we were like in a magic battle, and the other side is sending uh, spirits over and to attack us. And we were taking a full bath. So we were like actually, you know, full water and inside we were like soaking. And then the damn spirit just came over and <laughs> the spirit can actually enter and then like be like looking at you and like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> um, um, yeah, so that that's not fun. And when you have the battle in that stage, you're like, can you please go for a while? <laughs> right? So, yeah. You need someone there to take care of uh, that kind of situation, uh, guard it. So at least uh, you're not being like, you know, you're not ticking off everything, including your protection food, and then you're going to be attacked, right? That, that's stupid. So you need someone there to help 
Well, this is going to be one more layer of protection. Okay, uh, next one. Number nine. Cheng Samfu. This one, um, yellow paper, uh, red ink, and uh, Man Kuk's name, uh, burn into the water and drink. Now, this is the heart purifying. So when you feel, oh, yeah, when you feel um, like something's not right, uh, feel unsettled or feel emotionally affected, uh, that kind of thing, anything to do with your heart, you know, um, you can drink this food. And it helps you, <clears throat> helps your heart to be uh, peaceful, settled, and also get rid of the uh, unwanted, uh, bothersome, kind of uh, thought inside. So yeah, any kind of feeling, thought, you know, that is not good, you might have eat crap inside, you know, drink this food. Next one right here, number 10, is Jing um, Hao Fu, purifying the mouth, okay? So yeah, r yellow paper, uh, red text, and Man Kuk stem. Now this one, you burn in the full paper, I mean for water, and you rinse your mouth with it. So what is this for? Well, your mouth, yeah, you talk, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> when you talk, your mouth might have a lot of impurities, like other kinds of energies and yours together mixed because you eat, because you talk to other people, because you go, <gasps> and then you yeah, eat the air. And there are other energies in the air as well. <clears throat> okay, so like we talk to people, uh, like you buy stuff and you talk to, hey, how much is it? And then, you know, you interact, right? So there will be other energies in the air that you swallow. And these things mix of your own energy. And when you say a spell, so you're talking to the Tao, to the gods, right? Well, these energies that is not yours and not wanted, they will be the impurities. And when it goes, like, now I'm saying one, two, three, four, five. And then when the message go over to the pre heaven side, it makes you up one top five. And then it's like like that, right? It's not pure. So how? <laughs> that can happen. So right. So this is a, a a problem. So when you do magic, things are not really responsive. Or when you're doing your spell, you know, the other side cannot really hear you well, right? You rinse your mouth first, then uh, remove those impurities and helps your magic to be more powerful because it's more like a pure message, like it's clean now, and the other side can listen to you properly. And also, um, if by chance you have some kind of sickness or whatever things coming into you and you're about to get sick, rinsing your mouth of that will get rid of that uh, kind of sickness as well. Number 11, right here, Jing Tin Dei Fu, purifying the space. So this food is the yellow paper, red ink, and man cook stamp. So you sprinkle, like you sprinkle the water around the, the place, and it purifies the space. So just like we said with the mouth, this one is with the energy around you, your house, you know, the empty space. So what happens if your space is not clean? Well, <clears throat> imagine you sit inside a smoking area uh, to eat your lunch, well, all the smoke is going to invade you and you're going <laughs> to like that. You know, yeah, it's not good. So you cannot work properly. You cannot think properly. And also, if you're doing magic and such like that, well, your gods won't like it there. So they are not going to stay. So, yeah, not good. So if you purify the space when you do magic, it's going to be better because your god wants to stay there. And also, um, your magic is going to last longer and be better if it's inside a space that has cleaner energy. Um, yeah, and also the people inside, you know, people living inside or working inside will also have a better mood and things like that. Okay, yeah. Next one is uh, 12, Jing Sun Fu, the body cleansing. So uh, yellow Fu, red ink, and uh, Man Kuk stem. This one you burn into full paper, uh, full water, yeah, not full paper, full water, and you bath. So you soak yourself inside that water. Okay, that water is soaked inside and uh, soak for about like 15 to 12, uh, 15 to 20 uh, minutes. And then you drain it out and then you go through a normal bath and 
That's it. Change every clothing, including your underwear. Change it to a clean set. Your old one, wash it. Okay. So this will get rid of the uh, negative and the ye crap and all that stuff on your body that sticks on your body because when you're like going outside, interacting with other people and things like that, and it got on you, it washes that away. Number uh, right here, number number thirteen, Chao Kuifu. Okay, this one, uh, yellow paper, red ink, and uh, three stamp. This is for carrying, and it keeps you safe while you travel around. So it's a travel safety food. Very simple. The next one is fourteen. Is Wu San Fu, yellow paper, red ink, and uh, five thunder stamp. So this one is uh, a body protection and life saving food. So it it um, basically protect your body, right? Your physical body. So when you carry the food, it's um, supposed to help you by uh, getting this food power around you so that if it sends anything that is going to cause uh, a harm or whatever to you, it will kind of make you feel that, oh, I don't want to do that and I don't want to go there. And you avoid the uh, problem that, like the thing that will hurt you. So it's a protection, but it's not like, Hey, I got the fool on me. Now you can hit me and I'm not going to get hurt. It's not like that. Okay. The way how magic protects is to like help you realize what's there and make you avoid it so that you won't bang into those stuff. You know, like if you take this bus, it's going to crash later on. Well, before you enter the bus, the fool make you want to do other things and you will miss the bus and eventually you won't be in the accident. 15 and uh, 16, this is fun. Uh, 15 is man, uh, mo kok fu. Mo kok fu is basically for you to drink, like for water. So yellow fu and red ink and man kok stem. Now this one helps you to boost your uh, soul inside and help you do things physically, do things. So anything you want to do, Okay, do like actually execute physically doing it. You know, you want to do better than this food is for you. Okay, you drink it, the power goes inside you and boosts it. So, whenever you're taking physical action, you're going to do better. Well, what do you mean? Like, do I need to like go fight? <laughs> no, right? Even you're like, I want to cook a meal for the family tonight. Well, you want to do better, right? Drink a food like that. Uh, it helps you when you execute. You know, like sometimes. You know how to cook, but you just didn't, this doesn't do as well today for some reason because, you know, you pick some salt and you pick too much. You pick, you know, they pick the sugar and you pick too little and it ends up, it's not good. Well, this food is going to help you have better uh, uh, feeling or instinct and you're going to do better. The next one here is Man Cheng. Man Cheng is the, the opposite of the other one. This one helps you to learn and uh, like create, learn, you know, that kind of thing. So learning, uh, uh, absorbing, learning, uh, consuming, that kind of thing, this is going to boost it. It's a yellow food, red ink, and man cook stamp for you to drink. And then we have here, uh, 17, soyu san fu, the water god. So anything that deals with water, you can tape the food right there, uh, like your water tank or the pipes or whatever, you know, you don't want flooding, uh, that kind of thing, or even uh, like you're drinking water, you know, it deals with water. So instead of the other one, like the kitchen god, this is specifically for water. So you tape it there, uh, red food, black ink, and samsan stem. Now the other one is zhan guai fu, anything you feel weird about. So, oh, um, like there's always this guy crossing my yard. It's so weird, you know. I don't want anything to happen. Well, I taped it for right there to make sure that uh, God is there to looking out for me, and it just you know, just in case. Um, this fool is a uh, green fool, black text, and Samsung stem. Anything weird, you know. Like somehow I always hear like weird noise, noise right there every day around this time. Okay, I tape it for right there. Just make sure you know nothing goes wrong. And uh, if anything goes wrong, 
this the God inside the food is going to help you deal with it. If it's spiritual, if it's not, it will help you realize it. You can check it out. Nineteen is Zhan Chefu. Okay, Zhan is like secure, and uh, this one is basically uh, yellow fu, uh, red text, and five stamp. This fu, very useful to tape for like uh, put it there so that. You know, in case of evil crap around, they will not be able to do anything. It's uh, also always useful for um, putting, like, you know, in a box, and you have all the evil crap contaminated items in the box, and you want to seal that box, you can tape the food right there on the box as well. So it's a good food to put in, uh, like, a green door living room or, like, anywhere you want to, like, guard it, okay, with, with that power. 20 is Fu, fire, fire god, okay? So, yeah, anything that deals with fire, electricity, uh, stove, and that kind of thing, you want to watch out, you know, safety, uh, protect you from uh, that kind of issue. 21 is um, Samqing Zhen Zhak Fu. Zhen Zhak is like protect your house. So the Samqing, protect your house food. This one, you can have one taped uh, in the living room, and it basically helps you with um, most things in general uh yellow for black ink and um uh three three stem okay tape the other one is so far full okay this one is uh yellow for red ink and um big or small moon command stem and you drink this one you this one is the very special food if you learn it uh, in the lineage okay inside it's very special food it uses all the food towel so this one is uh, asking the god, the corresponding god, to pass on their magic power to you. So when you are doing like a magic battle or whatever things, before that you can drink this and it helps you boost your power. And, um, okay, here we go. Uh, 23, Fa Bang Fu, sickness, qi dissolving. So you carry this thing around while you're sick. It doesn't solve the sickness, but while you're sick, it helps you to reduce and dissolve that chi that you detox out. So the crap that you detox out is not going to be floating around your body. And then later on, it soaks back into you and make you feel crappy. So while you're sick, you're taking medicine, you detox bad energies out. And this one helps you neutralize those bad energy so that they're not going to be sucked back into your body and make you sick. So it helps you heal faster. This one is uh, actually white food paper, black ink, and uh, mo cook stem. The last one is chi fuk fu, red ink, no, sorry, red paper, black ink, and moon command stem. Now, this one, okay, this one right here, chi fuk fu, fortune, blessings, uh, fu, okay? So, yeah, you can burn this fu into the food offering you have on the altar if you're like giving this. Uh, food and stuff for someone to eat. So let's say in your family, you know, someone else in your family is not ordained yet, but you are, right? You have an altar. You can burn this food into the food or something like that and then give the food for your relative to eat and it uh, blesses and give them like the um, the blessings and also it, it uh, help them to accept your uh, path and so on. So it's a good thing to have for those uh, people who will put offerings up and other people will eat it and things like that. Um, it helps them to also build a better relationship with your gods as well. Anyway, so that's the rundown for the 24th food and we'll go back to the list. Uh, going back to the uh, question. Okay, let's go. Question. Okay, this question says, can we use magic to fight against a system such as racism or oppression, either in a community, city, or country? Well, you can, as I have said, right? you can. Uh, like like the first question we ask, answer about political stuff. So, yeah, you can, but make sure you know, uh, like, there are consequences if your side loses. And it's not... Like, oh, I have this Samlo uh, power. I'm uh, better than them. No, it's not. It's like you're learning martial art, right? No matter you're learning karate, you're learning uh, taekwondo, you're learning Chinese kung fu, whatever things, right? It's not the art itself. It's you that suck or not. 
So if you want to fight, you know, yeah, sure. What are you using to fight? Do you have an altar? Do you do you have your power cultivated? You know, it's not the lineage. It's you. Okay, it's basically you a you issue. Okay, next question. If uh, no Chinese, you can go. Huh? Hey, King Tong Zhao, you have what difference? Should how to divide? When did you learn Zhao? Ah, okay. Learn Zhao Yu is to follow the direction of the Zhao Yu. The Zhao Yu is the direction of the Zhao Yu. So you have to follow the direction of the Zhao Yu. So you have to follow the direction of the Zhao Yu. 就係一一種誒，即係點講咧？經法咧就係即係誒個神明咧，係喺入邊咧係擺咗佢嘅嘢喺入邊噶啦，啊擺咗佢嘅誒力量喺入邊。你一路做經嘅時候，一路念經咧，咁啊佢係將嗰一種嘅能能誒嗰一種嘅法力係不斷咁樣樣咧去傳送落嚟，去去幫你嘅。咁啊，你一路念經一路念經嘅時候咧。個法力一路流落嚟，咁樣去流流落嚟去一個誒壇度，咁啊跟住你個壇咧就釋放呢個法力出去。咁啊念經咧就好似套餐咁嘛，入邊即係好多嘢咁，就唔係淨係一個命令咯。咁啊幾時用經嘅時用咒，咁啊通常咧啊呢啲就係你入邊學法嘅時候，即係真係有嘢做嘅時候咧，教你嘅時候你就會知啦。咁啊亦都可以咁講啦，嚇即係。一文一武咧，嚇念念經咧，通常就係即係你係坐喺度念啊文科啊嘛，啊咁啊念咒通常就係真係行法做嘢，啊即係 real time 嘅做緊嘢嗰陣時啊用嘅。咁同埋經咒通常有陣時咧都會連埋，即係你念念經嘅時候又會有又有咒語喺入邊嘅。咁啊一個套餐啦，啊經入邊亦都有其他嘅即係部部分。啊，唔係淨係即係經文嘅咁樣樣。Okay, next question. Okay, next question is from. Okay, it's right here. Uh, could you speak a little bit about the Tai Shang Lao Jun deity? Okay, Tai Shang Lao Jun. Um, okay, so it's basically one of the Sam Ting, and、uh, as we have said before, the Sam Ting. It's a representative of、uh, three stages, like three powers of your、uh, altar. So, if you have the something statue, you have these three gods at your altar. It's your something, okay? So the Sheng Ting one is basically help you to get things from the above. The、so、Sheng Ting is like、uh, grabbing the 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 connection to the upper. So it helps your altar to connect. To the upper, okay, to where it cannot reach right here locally. Yok Ting, it basically start internally. It start working inside, and then Tai Ting is projecting the power outside. Um, so you can say your Tai Ting power is like this. Is like the CPU. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, the power that execute all the tasks and. Output and project the power to the outside. So any kind of magic, you know, that deals of projecting the power to the outside, like exorcism and things like that, it's all、uh, under the Tai Ting. Okay, so yeah, Tai Sheng Luo Guan is、uh, is one of the like one of the name we use for the Tai Ting. It's also called Tai Sheng Luo Guan Dou Duck Ting Jun. Now basically, it's the same thing. It's just、uh, That deity, it's basically、um, the deity that outputs power. Okay, and the other two, they do not output the power to the outside. They basically one help you grab things down, one help you internally、uh, absorb and digest things. So it's very different、uh, from the other two. Okay, so、um, next one, how about Mantai? Oh, uh, Tian Hui, Mantai. 斗法入边最难嘅系啲乜嘢？咁取胜嘅关键系啲乜嘢咧 ？OK， 啊，斗法最紧要嘅系乜嘢？最紧要嘅就系信心，同埋咧你嘅道心啊！你嘅道心唔稳咧，跟住个人咧就动摇啦，跟住就诶、呃，譬如话你唔信自己啊，唔信呢个神啊，或者质疑啊，咁你就输硬啦啊！咁啊～即係鬥法都係鬥心啊嘛，鬥心力啊嘛，法力就係心力
啊，你呢樣嘢衰咗咧，咁玩完噶啦嚇，咁、啊、所以你唔可以對自己嘅質疑，亦都唔可以係啊動搖你嘅道心啦。咁譬如話，即係你你唔係淨係對個神信唔信噶嘛，即係有啲人係哎呀好難啊，我唔想修行啊咁樣嗰啲咧，誒、啊、咁都係會一敗塗地嘅。咁啊最緊要就係呢樣嘢啊鬥法。咁啊大家鬥法咧，即係你個輸個方咧，佢點解輸咧？即係除咗法力唔夠之外，就係佢誒入邊唔夠心雄膽壯啊，亦都即係對自己嗰、那個誒誒、呃、修道嗰下有即係對自己修行嗰下有所質疑啊，或者不滿啊啊，或者覺得個神唔係幫佢啊，或者覺得哎呀點解咁辛苦啊，我唔想玩啊咁樣，咁咪衰硬咯啊，就係咁啦，呢個最緊要嘅。誒、呃、，OK，next、okay, question。Uh, this one says, "What are the consequences impact of killing an e god? What is the purpose of making war with them?" Okay, well, the purpose. Well, the thing is, if you're being、uh, screwed by the e god, then you need your peace back. Then you need to kick their ass. So that's the purpose. And the consequence, there's no consequence.、Um, the consequence may be. Well, the only consequence I can think of is、uh, the the other side will have other people coming at you and want to revenge, and eventually you kill them as well. <laughs> so basically,、uh, like some people will say, well, you you kill them, they kill you, then where's the end? You know,、uh, the thing is, if you can kill it、uh, fully and you can kill it nicely, then there's an end. So yeah, think about your like okay, having ants issue. Or you, like ants, you know, like the crawling insect. You have ants issue. Well, if you kill the ants and you kill it properly and you kill the whole village, right? Then there's no more ant to come. So the thing is, do you know how to kill everything properly and not be missing out the 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 the, the stuff? Like you know, they want to come to revenge, right? Kill them, <laughs> right? They kill the revenge team. You know anything that come or potentially can come, you can get rid of it, and it won't be here anymore. So you know if people think that, hey, they're worse than end. You know it. Yeah, well, because you're stupid, you don't know how to kill, right? If you know how to kill the ants, then the ants won't come anymore. You know, think about it, right? It's just that、uh, you didn't do a clean job. So yeah, when we are dealing with Egot, we don't give them a chance to revenge. You know, usually we、uh, deal with it. Very cleanly, so that there's no way to、uh, for them to come back for the second round. Okay, next one. Hi, good morning. Hi. 誒，天虛嘅問題，佢問誒，佢留意到有藍色嘅符，咁請問藍色嘅符嘅性質係啲乜嘢咧？咩藍色嘅符？知邊度？我唔知邊個睇翻嚟嘅，冇冇冇呢樣嘢，暫時啊。下一個問題啦。中文問題冇曬啦。Okay. Uh, next question. Okay, it says, "How can we find out if there is money sucking chi in our house? How can we get rid of it?" Uh, well, yeah, money sucking chi or money sucking whatever things. Okay, well, you think you you have to look at the、uh, symptoms. So if you feel your money is keep draining out, then you know something's wrong, and well, it's time to find out if it is、uh, something spiritual. So it's like, how come I always have money and then it just get drained out for no reason? Well,、uh, check it out then. Okay, how to check it out? Well,、uh, talk about it online and have your uppers to、uh, help you figure it out. And if it is evil crab issue, then you can use the food to deal with it. Now, of course,、uh, you think, well, how do I know? Well, yeah, it's very easy. Use the food, right? If the food works, and then your problem is uh, uh, reduced, not gone, but if it's reducing, then you know it's basically evil crab that's causing the problem, right? So. Okay, how do I know money keeps depleting or whatever? Okay, think about it. If your house have things breaking all the time, so it's like some somehow you know just after this day and then your house keep you know having things broke broken, broken door, broken window, and this and that. Many things keep breaking in your life, and you wonder why, right? Okay, use the foo, and then after use the foo, it stopped. Well, why did it like keep breaking and then suddenly it stop and never happen again? Oh, because it's e crap. Okay, very simple. You learn as you go. You learn as you see and experience all these things. So it's all by experience. It's not like a belief where you have to like, oh, maybe it's this, and you know, it's not maybe. It's you use, you see the result, 
Okay, it's very obvious. And we have uh, tried it ourselves too. You know, sometimes we have a situation where uh, things like a lot of things happen, the similar things happen, uh, you know, a lot of bad luck happened, a series of things happened. And then once you do the magic, everything stops. It's very magical. Everything stopped for no reason. And well, yeah, of course, there's a reason, right? That's the ye crap. So when you use magic and the things stop and the problem is resolved, you know what that is already right away. OK, so anyway, um, that's it for today for the school session. And we went over a lot of food. And of course, you're going to learn about these in uh, inside the lineage online as well in April. So we're going to go back to some uh, basics, some full work, and you guys are going to learn how to use and read the full book in the classes. So we're going to talk about these uh, later on in the classes coming up in May. Uh, no, not May, April. OK, yeah, April. So anyway, everyone, uh, thanks for joining and we will see you next week. So for everyone from uh, Teenage Dragons YouTube channel, make sure you check out the TeenageDragon.com website. You can uh, get initiated for free or you can ordain to learn this uh, Taoism magic of Samlo or Samtung um, online. It's really uh, online teaching is really cool. You can learn it uh, without going anywhere. That's pretty nice. Especially right now, you know, everyone needs to stay home. Uh, so, yeah, you're staying home all the time. You got nothing to do. Well, learn some magic. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.